conservation of momentum tells us that the total momentum in any closed system will remain the same all the time. And since momentum is equal to mass times velocity, even if you have multiple objects going at different speeds that might collide, for example, the total momentum of the system before and after the collision will remain constant. So for example, these two balls, which in this case happen to be of equal mass, whether one of them is moving and causes the other to move, or they're both moving and collide and move off in different directions, the total speed and the total mass of the entire system always remains the same. So for example, if this had a, a, a velocity of zero, and that had a velocity of one, the first one might impart some of its momentum onto the second, but the total between the two remains the same. And that remains the same whether one remains still and the other comes to collide with it, or whether they're colliding with each other. It even works, in this case I put Velcro, it even works if these two stick together, the total momentum remains the same. So for example, if I can get these two to stick together while one is stationary and the other is moving towards it, once they stick together, the total momentum will remain the same, so the combined objects will have half the velocity of the one initially that was moving. Conservation of momentum makes it actually quite interesting and challenging to move around the ISS if you don't have something to reach onto a handhold. Because if you get trapped out in the middle, there's no wiggling you can do, no swimming you can do that will get you over to a handhold so that you can pull yourself to move through the station. Because no matter what I do here, if, I'm, if I just stay floating in the middle, I'm just going to remain here in the middle since the total conservation, since the total momentum of the system has to remain constant.